everyone, Bradley tuning in, coming at you with a live video. As the name suggests, I want to talk about if we are in a buyer, seller, or balanced market. There's so much information right now. Listings are up. Sales are down. List price over the last year is up. Uh, but in the last few months, has gone down. Heck, I'm getting confused just talk about, talking about it here. But I want to give some complete clarity on where exactly we stand in the market today. Okay? Um, some of you don't know this, but I also post these videos on YouTube. We're building a bit of a following there. Just want to give a shout out to Mike Martins and his channel. I know he's doing a lot of good things. We have different views, but I love to follow his trends in the marketplace, uh, dealing with real estate around the world. So shout out, check out his channel, Mike Martins channel. Uh, okay, so make sure you guys are leaving likes and leaving comments. The more engagements we get, the further this video goes. And, uh, and if, you're, if you're getting value out of it, I'd love your support in that way. Uh, okay, here we go. So... There's a couple things that I'm noticing that have happened in the last few months, and they're really largely going unreported, but I think they're seriously valuable, okay? The first thing I'm seeing on an ongoing basis and talking with coworkers and colleagues and business partners, what I'm seeing is this. In the last five years, because prices have been steady on an incline, we normally will see an appraisal done by a lender at the time that they're going to apply for financing. What we're actually seeing now is because there's been a shift in prices in the last few months, they're actually asking for the same appraisal to be done right before closing. So why is that scary? The, the problem is, is because they're investing with you into the property, they're not going to give you any more money than the home is worth. So think about it. If the home drops by $50,000, the same lender that approved you two months ago is now going to turn back to you and say, you're responsible for that entire amount because we're not going to finance the home any more than it's worth. And we're actually seeing this going on in and around the marketplace. There's a second side to this that I haven't actually encountered, but I know is going on because I've heard about it going on in the industry. What some buyers are doing is they're taking it to a whole nother level. They're going back to the seller and saying, you know what, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I just bought this home, but now it's $100,000 less than when I bought it from you a month and a half ago. So you're either going to drop that price by $50,000 or I'm going to walk away from the deal. Now this has huge legal implications because obviously they're in breach of contract, they have a firm deal, um, but in some cases the sellers, they just don't want to fight and they say, you know what, fine, I don't want to relist it in this marketplace that it was not the same as it was a few months ago, so I'll take your deal. And they're actually taking some money back. So huge risky play, huge legal implications. I wouldn't recommend doing it. I haven't actually seen it, but it is going on. And I think these two things are reflective of what kind of market we're seeing here in the Toronto area. But now I want to give some assurance on this because uh, a typical closing is about a month to about two and a half months. A lot of these things that were happening in April when the change happened, I would expect they're going to end uh, in the end of July because they're, they're kind of, it was kind of this unique time frame that we were looking at. But things seem to be leveling out. And, but it's very interesting. It's interesting to see what kind of landscape we've come through. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, now I want to jump into what market we're in. I was going to talk about months of inventory, which is a big number that a lot of uh, news outlets use. And all that is, is it's, let's assume uh, a home were, all homes were to stop being added to the market. How long would it take for that, uh, the last house to sell? Um, now, if you were to take that number, which they're using, in a lot of ways, it actually says we're in a seller's market. Um, but unfortunately, because it takes five or six months for the inventory to fill up, to meet that equilibrium, that number I don't think is really a true indication of where we are in the market. What I think is better to look at and the number that I would suggest that we use is sales to new listings. Now this is a percentage. So the range we're looking for in a balanced market is between 40 to 60%. So if it was 50%, that means that for every 10 homes listed this month in the same, cal in the same calendar month, five of them would sell. And that would speak of a balanced market. And actually that's what we saw last month. Uh, and looking at not prior to June, if we saw this in, uh, in May, this is what we were looking at. I think it was 53%, somewhere in there. But what we're actually looking at now in June is actually came down to 41%. And it's funny enough, in March, it was as high as 86. That's huge. That's a very strong seller's market. That means for every 10 homes listed, 8.6 are selling in one month. That's within the same month. That's crazy. But now we're looking at 41%, which is on the threshold of that 40%, making it a buyer's market. So I would suggest, as I did a few months ago that we were headed there, I would suggest that even this month, July, coming in almost a full month now, that we have entered and are in full-blown buyer's market. Uh, you're not going to see the outlets, the news outlets publishing this yet until probably in the coming weeks in August. You'll see the July 
and then there'll be more confidence in this. But I want to give you guys a heads up a few weeks in advance so you kind of know where we're at. I am pretty confident inventory will continue to increase for the next two to three months uh, as our um, months of inventory catches up to this, what we're already seeing in this market. So uh, I would suggest we are in a buyer's market. Open to feedback and comments. I love you guys. I hope you're getting value from these videos. Like I said, share and comment. Uh, every engagement helps push this post further. Um, and I will check in with you next week. Enjoy the beautiful weather outside. Keep it real.